Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ladies and gentlemen, before we begin, let us listen to and sing together to the national anthem of Malaysia, Negaraku. <laughs> And now, let us sing together to the national anthem of the Republic of Indonesia, Indonesia Raya. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning to all of you out there. I had so much fun listening to our national anthem. Praise to Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We have been graced this morning by the chance to gather with all of you virtually. I am Azwin Aksan and I will be your host for the opening ceremony this morning. Before we begin, allow me to read you this disclaimer for the program, for this three-day program. All information conveyed in this live session is for the sole purpose of academic. All views and comments by the moderators and the panels are personal views and in no way reflects the official views and policies of the university. The university is in no way responsible for the comments and the views conveyed neither by the panel nor the moderators. Welcome to Great Minds 2021 for your information. This program is brought to you by University Technology Mara, Chawangan Malaka, in collaboration with Makasa Tourism Polytechnic, Bali Tourism Polytechnic, Medan Tourism Polytechnic, 
Lombok Tourism Polytechnic, Palembang Tourism Polytechnic, Bandung Tourism High School, Venus University, and from Malaysia, Polytechnic Hulu Terengganu, Polytechnic Sultan Idris Shah, and Taylor's University, Malaysia. This three days webinar will feature key experts from the tourism and hospitality, both from Malaysia and Indonesia. In line with the current condition due to the pandemic, we were called to bring together this top, the topic concerning restoration and rejuvenating our tourism sector. This webinar provides a great opportunity for us to hear from key experts on the status and updates of tourism in dealing with the ongoing pandemic. The Dean of the Faculty of Hotel and Tourism Management, University Technology Mara, speakers and presenters from the Ministry of Tourism, as well as the hospitality sectors. And all of you together we bring to today, we are delighted to welcome you again with this live streaming for the opening ceremony of Great Minds 2021. So before we begin, uh, allow me to welcome our Ketua Pusat Pengajian, Puan Noor Ibtisam Abdul Karim, to address her welcome speech. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and warmest greetings to everyone in attendance. First and foremost, I would like to welcome our honorable guests, professionals, academicians, from colleges, polytechnics, and universities around Malaysia and Indonesia to the gathering for the restoration of tourism in Malaysia and Indonesia, Great Minds 2021, which is organized by the Faculty of Hotel and Tourism Management, UITM Chawanga Melaka. This program is a continuation from the International Virtual Summer Camp IVSC 2020, which was conducted in August uh, 2020, and it is a cooperation uh, program between UITM Chawanga Melaka and Venus University Indonesia. In addition, I believe that Great Minds will, 2021 will be the one of the impactful events for UITM Chawanga Melaka, which combines a total of seven higher learning institutions from Indonesia, namely Makassar Tourism Polytechnic, Bali Tourism Polytechnic, Medan Tourism Polytechnic, Lombok Tourism Polytechnic, Palembang Tourism Polytechnic, Bandung Tourism High School, and Venus University, as well as higher learning institutions from Malaysia, which are Hulu Tringanu Polytechnic, Tringanu, Sultan Idris Shah Polytechnic, Selangor, Teles University, Selangor, and UITM Chalmang Melaka itself. Uh, we thank you for uh, very much uh, for the support and participation in this event. Ladies and gentlemen, the initiative taken by Faculty of Hotel and Tourism Management UITM Chawanga Melaka in this three days event serves as a platform to explore issues related to the policies and potential of the tourism sector in Malaysia and Indonesia through various collaborative sessions with the industry and stakeholders. Before I end my speech, I would like to extend my gratitude to the committee members who have given their full commitment and significantly contributed to the success of this international event. Hopefully, all involved in Great Minds 2021 will gain valuable experiences, new insights and great exposure which will lead towards more research culture and discussions to benefit our society in the future. In addition, I also hope that Great Minds 2021 will eventually be the center of initiatives on tourism research and exploration, as well as the source of new knowledge that enables us to achieve strategic planning needs of the campus. I wish this event be a great success. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Puan Ibtisam, for the sh short yet beautiful welcoming note. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Without further ado, let's welcome the Dean of the Faculty of Hotel and Tourism, University Technology, Mara, Professor Dr. Muhammad Saliuddin Muhammad Zahari, to deliver his opening speech and at the same time officiate our program today. Please welcome. Thank you, Miazwin. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ladies and gentlemen, and very good morning. I indeed an honor, a pleasure to be here this morning to officiate the gathering for restoration of tourism in Malaysia and Indonesia, Great Minds 2021. Youth together and rejuvenating the tourism. I would like to take these opportunities to express my appreciation for the effort of the Faculty of Hotel and Tourism Management, UITM Laka, in bringing Great Mind 2021 through Pushan. I'm truly honored and delighted to have you here. Thus, my sincere appreciation goes to all of you, all lecturers involved from UIT Amlaka and also all students from the Faculty of Tourism and other university and colleges. Ladies and gentlemen, I also like to take this opportunity to express my gratitude to higher institution from all participants in the institution, either from Malaysia and Indonesia, for their full commitment and significant contribution to the success of these international events. I would like also to congratulate all participants of Great Minds 2021 for their efforts in coming up with the various issues, ideas, and exposure related to the pol policy and potential of tourism sector in Malaysia and in Indonesia to various collaborations session. In relation to that, I hope that this event will provide added value to students through experience and knowledge on the entrepreneurial and cultural opportunities internationally. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that the initiative of organizing Great Minds 2021 is seen as one of the ways to expose and expand the intellectual horizon of our students in addressing issues in the tourism sector in Malaysia and Indonesia. Despite the challenging time of COVID-19 pandemic, various collaborative, collaborative sessions with industries and stakeholders Manage to be carried out, and I believe that this kind of program will eventually stretch and expand to the full range of our student potential in various aspects. Before I conclude, I would like again to express my appreciation that this event has successfully made both and student lecturers gain valuable experience and new insights and great exposure which would like which would lead toward the research culture discussion to benefit our society in the future congratulations to everyone on that note with the expression of bismillah rahman rahim i hereby declare the gathering for restoration of tourism in malaysia and indonesia great mind 2021 is officially open. Thank you, everyone. Have a great gathering, great minds. Selamat pagi, selamat siang. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Prof, for the opening speech, and thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to be with us this morning. So now we are officially today for the event, all of us. Moving on, let's enjoy a quick program montage put together by the organizing team. Roll it out.
Okay, for those of you who just joined us, this is the gathering for the restoration of tourism in Malaysia and Indonesia, the Great Minds 2021. So that was our uh, montage presentation, excellent. And now let's bring you to witness a cultural performance put together by the Mercy Nusantara. This cultural performance will feature songs Ketawalah Joget Berhibur. Joget mengikat janji. Please enjoy. Warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan salam sejahtera. Kami dah berkumpulan kemersi Nusantara yang terdiri daripada gabungan pensyarah-pensyarah UITM Cawangan Melaka dan juga daripada Institut Warisan Melaka akan mengesembahkan lagu Inam yang berbentuk medley dan juga seterusnya dua bah lagu Joget. Kami mengharapkan anda akan terhibur.
itulah persembahan yang cukup berhibur kepada kami dan untuk persembahan terakhir kami kami akan mempersembahkan sebuah lagi lagu cukup bertajuk cukup mengikat janji di mana berbisnya dari Indonesia dan penyanyi dari daripada Malaysia kami mengharapkan anda dapat menyanyi dan mungkin menari bersama kami kami harapkan anda akan terus dihibur Gemersit Nusantara. Thank you, thank you Gemersit Nusantara for that excellent cultural performance. I hope everyone out there have enjoyed a little bit of our token for you this morning. And before we move to the next one, let me share with you a little bit about our highlight of the day, the virtual tour. So throughout this, this webinar, we have lined up uh, several interesting virtual tours for you out there and I'm sure all of us are eager to go out and start traveling again so while we do that let's enjoy some of the virtual tours some of the universities participating in this webinar have put together for us the first well, uh, virtual tour for this morning will be on Tanah Toraja which was put together by Polytechnic Pariwisata Makassar, Indonesia. Please enjoy. Hello everyone. Do you feel bored because still pandemic situation? I have a solution for you. Please join us in virtual tour in Ketekesu, especially in Tanah Toraja. Toraja 
is Heaven Land and being home for Trajanus tribe. People have a unique culture, tradition, history, and they respect their ancestors. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Ketekesu. This is a traditional custom from Toraja. Please wear it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Ketekesu is a tourist village in Tanah Toraja. As you can see, can be amazed the world. And then the behind me is a traditional house from Toraja. The name is Tongkonan. Why the name is Tongkonan? Tongkonan is a meaning from traditional language from Toraja is sitting. Because long time ago, when a Toraja nobles want to sit thick, they are gathering something to discuss. And then in Ketekesu have a six tongkonan and 12 barns. And then the age of the traditional house is 300 years old. And then this place always held the biggest ceremony in Tanah Toraja, which is now Rambu Solo and Mangra Rabanua. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, please follow me to the next destination and watch your step. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the old lady who lives in this tourism object. She always keep environment to be clean. If you visit Ketekesu, look after the environment to away from the trash. So ladies and gentlemen, as long the street, as you can see, many merchandise you can buy, and then this made from the local people. Whoa. And please watch your step. So ladies and gentlemen, now we are arrived in traditional grave Traja. So any question guys? What is that? Oh, this is the tombs from the Trajan people. Trajan people have a ritual. If someone dead, he making a he making a statue from who is the dead, and then he make. A... There are a lot of tombs in this area with many shapes such as like a square box, wood and pig, and many more. They carve the wood tombs with traditional motif and put a statue which the symbol of Trajanus ancestor. Hey, what are you doing, Ipal? I have been watching virtual tour of Toraja. Same as me. I have watched the video before. Yeah, Toraja is really beautiful. I agree with you. Raja is really beautiful and the history is really interesting. Why we don't go to Taraja now? Sounds good. Let's go to Taraja. Very, very interesting tradition and culture of the Taraja people in Indonesia. I think through this virtual tour, we can actually uh, decide our next destination after this. So moving on, let's move to the second virtual tour of today, which is all the way from Malacca. Get back to Malacca, which was put together by Taylor's University, Malaysia. Please enjoy Malacca.
for all of your information, we are now coming live from the city of Malacca. That's what we showed you earlier. So to those of you who miss Malacca, please come back. Tourism is open right now. But of course, please take uh, all the precautions to, to apply the SOP during this pandemic. Yeah. So moving on to our final virtual tour for this session this morning, we have for you a virtual tour on Palu, a city in Sulawesi, Indonesia, put together by Venus University. Please, let's go through this virtual tour. September 28, 2018. A day that will always be remembered by all the people of Central Sulawesi. The earthquake, tsunami, and liquefaction natural disaster that occurred have resulted in the loss of many lives and damage its beauties in the cities. But we choose to get up, recover and get better. Now prepare yourself to adventure with us. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Palu. Please remain seated until we have reached our panel parking position and pass the seat belt sign south. Hello everyone, welcome to Mutiara Sisal Jufri National Airport. My name is Angel and this is my friend Friska. Hello everyone, I'm Friska and today we will take you to a few destinations based on our recommendation in Palu, Donggala, and Sigi in Central Sulawesi. This destination include Tanjung Karang Beach, Pusat Laut Donggala or Pusentasi, Mantan Timali Mountain, and Wera Waterfall. Are you ready guys? Let's go! Indonesia has exotic natural beauty that spread from west to east. One of the beauties can be found in Central Sulawesi, especially in Palu, Sigi, and Donggala. Are you excited? Let us take you to see the beauty of the cities. Hi everyone! Now we've arrived at Tanjung Karang Beach. This beach is one of the main tourist attractions that the regional government plans to develop. It is expected to contribute to the regional government and brings positive benefits to the local community's economy. This beach is called Tanjung Karang because there are a lot of coral in the seashore. Tanjung Karang not only offers natural attraction but also the cultural attraction. Here, visitors can learn about the local communities living where the majority of people depends on fishing. There are also good tourism facilities in Tanjung Karang Beach, such as cottage, restaurant, rental cars or water sport, souvenir stores, and many others. Hi everyone! Now we've arrived at the Pusat Laut Donggala. Let's exploring this place with me. This place is a unique destination because there is a well filled with seawater in the middle of the destination. The local community or known as Kaili Ethnic Group named this place Pusen Tasi. Short of Pusen meaning Pusat and Tasi meaning the sea. Legend said that this particular wall is connected to the sea nearby and that there is a tunnel that connects the sea and the wall in the destination. Welcome to Wera Waterfall. This place can be reached by walking about 2 meters up the mountains. Finally, we have arrived at the top of Vera Waterfall. Wow, look how beautiful this waterfall is. This destination is still clean and really natural because the local people took very good care of it. Okay, it's time to move to the next destination. 
Now we are in Mantan Timali Mountain, one of the tourist destination in Central Sulawesi, which is famous for its sunrise views and internationally known paragliding spot. When tourists have arrived at Mantan Timali Peak, tourists can see the sunrise view and the view of Teluk Kota Palu, which is very pleasing to the eye. Currently, Mantan Dimali has become one of the best paragliding spots in Southeast Asia. Wow, that's cool, right? Well, as fellow creatures of God's creation, let us also participate in sustaining the natural beauty that He has provided for our future generation to come. Wow, 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 wow. Interesting. Yeah. Cantik banget sih. Aku mau travel sudah ini. Airport sudah buka enggak? Uh, yeah, yeah. Looking and watching at all those virtual tours really, really pushing me to actually start traveling again. It's been two years. Two years we are not allowed to leave the country. So hopefully, please pray to God, we could actually start traveling again. So with that, we have come to the end of our opening ceremony this morning. So I would like to thank each and every one of you out there, uh, the organizing team, and to all uh, those involved in the success of this morning uh, event. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much for being with us this morning. And our three days webinar, the first webinar will begin at 11.30 this morning. So let me go through with you uh, our session for the three days program. Uh, if you can see on the screen, uh, for today's webinar, uh, we'll begin at 11.30 uh, on the master plan in tourism industries rejuvenation in Malaysia. The speaker will be Yang Berbahagia Datuk Musa Haji Yusof. And followed by webinar two uh, from 2.30 at 2.30 this afternoon is on strategies and opportunities for the hotel industry for the post-COVID-19 era. The speaker will be Yang Berbahagia Dato Rosman Ibrahim. So for today, uh, there will be two webinars followed by tomorrow. So tomorrow, November 10th, on Wednesday, we'll have three more sessions. Webinar number three will be on the Indonesia tourism post COVID-19 rebranding and revitalizing. Speaker will be Dr. Franciscan Xavierus Tegu. Franciscus, sorry. Franciscus, Dr. Franciscus Xavierus Tegu. And followed by webinar four at 11 a.m. Uh, which will be on reinventing the hospitality environment, human touch versus automation. This will be presented by Dr. Igede Arya Pering Arimbawa. And finally, for tomorrow's uh, webinar, session five is will be at 2.30 in the afternoon on regrouping the tourism network for the expected travel boom post-COVID-19, and the speaker will be Mr. Johar Zahari. So uh, that will wrap up the webinar followed by Thursday event, November 11, 2021. We will be having the pitching competition beginning at 9 a.m., followed by the closing ceremony of this three-day event at 11 a.m. on Thursday. So I truly hope uh, all of you will make time to join us for this three days program. Um, thank you again. I'm sure we can all learn a lot from, from this three day program. Uh, there's a lot to update the progress from the industry from both country, Malaysia and Indonesia. So now we're going to take a break uh, before we see you again at 11.30 this morning. Please stay safe and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.